Hello and welcome to A Book Obsession. I'm Ashley Gunn and I get the pleasure of doing a book review for one of the best series known to man, in my personal opinion. So when I say that I love this series, I mean I've read some of these books multiple times, completely love this series. I'm going to give a general idea of what the entire series is, but for those of you guys who don't know what I'm talking about, Jamie McGuire's The Maddox Brothers. They just had the last book come out, The Beautiful Funeral. And it was incredible. The series is incredible. I didn't even really anticipate it being as good as it was because all the boys had their books done. So I really didn't know what the purpose could be for the beautiful funeral. And then I read it and I was like, I cried a lot, but it was completely worth it. So I started the series with the beautiful series, which is Travis's story. And then it goes into the Maddox brothers and you have five boys. You have Trevor. Nope, that's not even a name. That's not even one of them. I'm sorry. You have Travis, Trenton, Thomas, Taylor, and Tyler. All of them are going to have their own independent books, and each one of their books are going to almost feel like it's its own standalone book, but then they're going to have these interlocking sections of the books that just make the whole thing beautiful. So you'll have Travis make a phone call and Thomas answer the call. You're going to get Travis's side in Travis's book, and then you're going to get Thomas's side in Thomas's book. I love the way they interlock like that, and it's always seamless, just gorgeously written. So you're going to have uh, underground fighters, you're going to have FBI agents, you're going to have firefighters, and all of them are going to be built around the idea that they absolutely love their father more than anything else. They love their family more than anything else. They're going to be there for each other and stand together, and I loved the idea. They're all great men, great values. They're all going to have their own little hiccups and stuff, but just overall tremendous. And then you're going to come to the beautiful funeral that was just released maybe two weeks ago. And this is going to be built around the idea that the FBI needs to protect the family because they're all in danger. So they all come back to the father's house. And when they do this, it's going to be eight years since the last book was written. So the last book, and now we're like fast forwarding eight years into the future, which is a really cool concept because essentially you get to check in on all these characters that you've absolutely fallen in love with. And you get to see where they are and what's going on in their lives. And maybe they're different places. Maybe they... Um, are a different place in their marriage or their job or their children and I just absolutely loved it and in the house is going to be all of the husbands all of the wives all of the kids everyone together so you get to have an eagle's eye view of everything that's going on now in the future so the father is going to be in this book more because this is taking place at his house they're going to have where now you're going to have more maturity in, in each individual character because you're eight years in the future. So now instead of it just being a couple that's been dating for a little while or just married, now you're going to have a couple that's lived for eight years. And that might be positive because maybe they're stronger or it might be um, negative because maybe they're having issues in their marriage. Just I absolutely love the way that that was written. And overall, no matter whether or not they're bickering or no matter whether or not they're fighting, the way that she makes it where there's still that constant underlying idea of we're all family was beautifully written. I don't think that I could recommend a series more for just those people who love good romance books. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, Jenny McGuire may be a little upset me at the very end of A Beautiful Funeral, and she knows what she did. But... <laughs> Overall, just absolutely gorgeous. I also thought that the way that they had the wives interacting in the beautiful funeral is something that you didn't see in all the rest of them because, yes, maybe Travis's girlfriend interacted with, or Travis's wife at the time would interact with, you know, Trenton's girlfriend, but at the same time, there was never all of the wives all together at the one time, and I just, I thought that that part was done really well. I overall absolutely love this, and like I said, I didn't understand what the point of this last book was, but then at the end of it, it really felt like closure, like she took the series and put it in a big box and with a big giant bow on the top of it, so you felt like it was a complete series and, and everything was finished. Anything that has been unresolved in any of the other books is now completely resolved at the end of this, and it was just beautiful, Jamie. So if you like this review, like it. If you want my videos every week, subscribe. Otherwise, I will see all of you gorgeous people next week. Thank you so much for joining me.